Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a severe nail bite out and I just wanted to show you the process of how I apply nails and forms onto a nail biter. So I'm starting off by sanitizing the hands and my hands and pushing back her cuticles. And I'm going to go in with my diamond cuticle bit and just really, really pay attention to the sidewalls and cuticle area. But even more so because you normally find with nail biters that there is a lot of skin that you can get away. I'm then going to go in with my sanding band on a low speed and really, really get in them sidewalls and cuticle, making sure that I'm etching the plate really, really well to make sure that we have done as much prep work as possible. We don't want any lifting or anything so that the client can pick or bite because obviously she is a nail biter, so any little bits of acrylic or skin she will absolutely pick and bite at. Then I'm going to go in and apply my nail forms and I will be using the crystal nail ones today because they are smaller and I don't really need big massive butterfly forms. And on the little finger it was easy to just slot in but any nails that are quite wide and flat I will just make two little slits either side of the nail plate and that way it will fit nice and snug under the nails. I'm then going to go in and prime all of the nails once with acid bond and then I will start off by building a clear layer because we're going to go in with some glitters on these nails. I'm then going to go in with peach sorbet and create a blended nail bed colour. I'm just going to keep this thin, but making sure that I'm adding enough strength in there to make these nails strong. I wouldn't normally advise my client who is a nail buyer to go this long, this length, um, simply because it's just not practical for her, but she is going away on holiday and wanted a little bit of extra length, and so I've put some there for her. So I'm going on with this purple matte multi-cut glitter from the Glitter Fairy as well as some rainbow shine multi-cut just dotting that around to give the matte glitter a little bit of sparkle. And then when I'm happy with where all that is placed I will go in and apply my crystal glass and cap everything really really well. Making sure my apex is in the right place and that we're not applying it too thick. Um, especially at the free edge because we don't want any weight on that free edge that will um, bring her nail down and make it lift because it's too heavy and her nail bed is really, really small. And as you can see, not only is she a nail biter, her nail beds are super tiny. So moving on to the ring finger and I'm going to just apply a full glitter nail. So I'm gonna completely cover the nail in crystal glass. I'm then going to repeat the same process that we did on the little finger on the middle finger except I'm going to go in with a blue matte multi-cut glitter.
and on the index finger I'm going to do a ombre with the purple matte, the blue matte and the silver rainbow shine. So as you can see on the thumb here, I've made two slits in the nail form so that I can fit the nail form snugly under the nail. Otherwise, we will have big massive gaps. So I've just customised the form to fit her nail really, really snugly to make our extensions as secure and long lasting as possible. And again, I'm just going to go in with a clear layer. I am using my size 8 alpha brush and it is oval and there is a coupon code in the description box for a discount off them. When the application is complete on both hands, I will go in and start filing. So as always, taking my tapered safety bit, it is a fine grit and it is from Todak USA. Really nicely going around the cuticle area and sad walls to make sure they're nice and flush. And over the entire body of the nail, just to make it a lot more easier when I'm going in with the hand file. Hand filing routine is always the same. So I've got side walls, free edge around the cuticle area contour the whole body of the nail so it is as even and as nice as I can possibly get it and then I'll clean away all the dust apply my top coat and cuticle oil and that will be the finished video I know it's not like the best set of nails ever but I wanted to really show you that not everybody has beautiful natural long nail beds that make extensions look flawless because most of the time, most normal regular salons have women who have nail beds that are short, fat, little, small, bitten. And it's not always realistic to have some flawlessly flawless set of nails. And so this is the best that I could do with what I had. And my client was absolutely over the moon and so was I. And I suppose that is all that really matters. But don't fear the nail biter because I can guarantee you if you can give them nice long lasting nails, they will be one of your most loyal customers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do. I love you all and I'll see you all in my next one. Oh, and by the way, if everyone asking, I have recorded my own nails, but it is not ready yet. So I'm oh, really excited to upload that one for you. I love you all. Bye.